Hey there, Mark Helton here, and in this video, I want to show you a really cool feature we have in Hot Prospector called Lead Assign. Now, the way Lead Assign works is it allows you to automatically assign leads to users inside of your Hot Prospector account. You could use this for customers, you could use it for salespeople. It's really powerful, it's very flexible, and it is just so awesome. We have the ability for you to even charge for leads if you want. So I'm gonna show you how this works. I have my cell phone here uh, mirrored to my computer. I'm gonna pull that over in just a second, but first we're gonna assign a lead, okay? So when you assign a lead or when you create a lead, you have a couple of ways to get it into the system, well, multiple ways. One would be, as you can see here, I'm individually adding a lead, but you can also use our lead forms, our Zapier uh, connection. You can use the direct integration with Facebook and so many different ways. We have lead forms, you name it, okay? So the way this works is as soon as the lead is added into the system, it's going to automatically round rob it round robin that lead to different users in the system, whoever is next up to receive a lead. So I'm going to click add. And as soon as I do that, you're going to see here on my cell phone, boom, I just got a text message that lets me know that I have a lead. So I'm going to click on that open here. And here you can see it opens up on my screen and I have a countdown that is appearing. It says that I have a new lead and this is how much time I have left to accept that lead. I can accept it or reject it. Now, the way that I have this set up is if I accept the lead, then it's going to go directly into this uh, account, right? I'm, I'm my account. If I decline the lead, then it's going to go to the next person in the round robin. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and click accept. And as soon as I've accepted that lead, now that lead has been assigned to that particular user. So I'm going to go ahead and click refresh here so you can see who received the lead. And there you have it. It shows the lead was assigned to Chloe's pipeline inside of her system, which you know, we have these pipelines built in. As you can see here, there's the lead. Um, also, we automatically assigned a tag to that lead as well. As you can see, Chloe's lead assigned tag. Now, these tags are really powerful because what it does is it allows you to limit who has access to view this lead. So if I assign a specific tag like this, where it's permission based only person who can see that is who has permission to see that tag in this case would, would be chloe okay all right so that is how the lead assign works now you're probably wondering well how do i set this up well it's very easy if you go into your groups inside of hot prospector and you just click on the group that you want to uh, turn this on for you just click on the edit and you're going to select lead assign now, when you open that up, you're going to see all of these options that you can edit. So this top bar up here, so you've got pipeline status, add and remove tags. What this does is it allows you, based off of a global level, to automatically assign a pipeline status or tag or remove leads, I'm sorry, remove tags when a lead is added into this group. Okay. You can also decide if you want to charge for that lead. If you are charging for the lead, you can set up automatic billing or you could set up invoicing to whoever you're charging for leads. Here you have cycles for rejected leads. So if you have multiple users that you're assigning leads to, and let's say Chloe rejected the lead and Amy rejected the lead and Maria and all of these people rejected the lead until it gets to the bottom of the list, then cycles is how many times it's going to keep on cycling through before it stops trying. Link title, that is something you could control that just lets the person know when they get that notification they have a new lead, as in our case, we just say hot prospector lead. Link expiry is the time, amount of time, so you could do minutes or hours before this lead automatically, whether it's a scene or not, goes to the next person. So in this case, I've got it set to five minutes. Don't want to go too far because then obviously the lead gets cold. Here you can control your logo and then you also have the ability to customize the title that you put for the person who is receiving the lead. Now, custom lead form fields, this is actually when you open up the lead inside of your system here, you can see we have all of these different options that you can uh, see here you can text but if I wanted to go in and actually edit the lead you can assign certain fields that you want your users to have access to so by default we have these regular default fields 
but then you can set all these other default fields as or sorry custom fields as well to appear as well inside of their lead manager now let's get down to the user level or the person that you're assigning leads to so here you can set a certain number of leads that they get per day or month or you could just set it to unlimited if i set unlimited then it's just going to send as many leads as i can to them and it round robins them here you have an option to pause the person from receiving leads so let's say that chloe is just you know on vacation or something and she can't accept leads you can just pause her and then she won't be receiving leads anymore routing rules allow you to set up specific tags that can only be assigned to this user so let's say that chloe only accepts new leads uh, from people that are in a specific area or maybe that have a specific type of of tag Post data URL allows you to send a post data URL to some outside system to notify that system that, that a lead was accepted by somebody. And then here you have the option to either auto approve the lead or not. So if you select yes, then that user will not receive a notification on their phone that they received. Well, they'll receive a notification on their phone that they received a new lead, but they won't have the ability to accept it or reject it. As you saw earlier, it automatically accepts it. And then here on this level, you have the ability to automatically assign a pipeline status to the lead, as well as assign a tag or remove certain tags. So that's the user level. Now down here, you have the ability to customize the notifications that are sent. So if you wanted to send a specific type of message to the person who's receiving a lead, you can change that. We also have tokens that you can insert into the message, and then you could do the same for email. So that is the lead assigned feature. I really hope that this is something that you'll be able to use. I know that it's very powerful and that if you put this to work in your business, if you have salespeople, it's going to make it so much easier for you to get the note notice to them that they have a new lead. Now, one thing too to keep in mind is you also have some really powerful features that will allow you to automatically put leads back into this a queue if they're not being worked properly by the people they've been assigned to. So if they're not being called or if they're not being worked, you can automatically put them right back on into the lead assigned queue and get them to somebody else. So you can make sure that your leads are getting worked to the fullest. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the inside of Hot Prospector. Bye.